authority was set up in 1961 by the government to generate electricity, transmit electricity and also distribute electricity throughout the country. In the mid-2005, there were changes in the structure of the electricity supply chain. And so we were redesignated into a generating company and the transmission function was set up under a new mandate by the Ghana Grid Company. So today as we speak, we do power generation primarily and then there's also the grid company that does the uh, transmission uh, function of the supply chain. We also own a distribution franchise in the northern part of the country. In fact, 60% of the land area of Ghana is covered by a distribution utility which we call NETCO. We have a number of subsidiaries because it's part of our mandate to look after the, the development of the Volta Lake that was created as a result of the construction of the Akosombo Dam. And so we have the Volta Lake Transport Company, we have some business in the hospital, we have business in the tourism sector, we have business in the education sector. So we have a whole conglomerate of things that uh, we do. We are a generating company and we own the Akosombo Hydroelectric Power Plant, which we commissioned in 1966. Subsequently, in 1982, we commissioned the Bong Hydroelectric Power Plant. After the development of our hydro plants, we went into thermal generation. And so since 1998, we've had a number of thermal plants that uh, we have uh, commissioned. And so together, we have a portfolio of 2,500 megawatts of uh, a blend of hydro and thermal generation today. But that's not the only thing that we do. We have an interconnection with our neighbors to the east, which is uh, Togo and Benin, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, which is to our west. Recently, we started exporting power to Burkina Faso. Hopefully, through the West African power pool system, we'll be able to connect to Mali and eventually to Senegal and other places in the, in the West African sub-region. But within Ghana itself, we have a market share of roughly 55%. And then the other 45% is, is uh, taken up by the independent power producers. We are developing a number of projects in response to the demand for electricity in Ghana. First project that we have is the uh, Pung Thermal Power Plant. It's 200 megawatts. We want to expand it into a combined cycle plant and make it a 330 megawatt uh, power plant. The investment outlay is of the order of about 200 to 250 million dollars. Second plant that we have, which we also have to expand into a combined cycle plant because currently it's a simple cycle plant, is what we call the Therma One Power Plant. We own it together with another state utility called Senate. We intend to expand it into a 330 megawatt plant and the investment outlay is around 200 million dollars. We have 150 megawatt solar plants that we will develop over a period of four to five years. And that will be of the order of about three to four hundred million dollars. Also in the area of renewables, we are developing a wind power plant, which is about 75 megawatts. That's also of the order of close to 200 million dollars. We also have Pualugu hydroelectric power plant. It's actually a hybrid plant. Okay. So it's a 60 megawatt hydro plant and a 50 megawatt uh, solar plant. That project, the power component is around $400 million, whilst the, the irrigation component is of the order of $400 to $500 million. Thereby help increase the renewable energy component of our energy mix, contribute to our fight against the effects of climate change. I think that the Ghana power sector is, is, is open up such that, and together with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, we are working collaboratively to ensure that investors who are interested in these renewable projects can really come in and do and uh, develop these projects with us. I brought Mr. Miracle, the head of Africa from the World Bank, to visit VRA. He could not believe that the whole thing was manned and managed from A to Z by Ghanaians. And he said in his own country, they need Germans to keep their hydro plant running. We don't. Congratulations, VRA. In terms of our plans for the future, we are in an era of digitalization. And so there are a couple of projects that we want to carry out in that area. We have a township called Akosombo in Ghana and want to turn it into a smart city. We have started the process and this is where we welcome investors to come in and assist us develop uh, the, the, the township into a smart city. 
We as a utility are committed to clean energy. We embarked on this major program of one digitalization, which is to help our operations and improve our efficiency, and also to leverage uh, uh, the digital space to improve our operations. Number two, that's why we've embarked in an aggressive manner on developing renewables, wind, as I said earlier, and solar. So I'm asking all investors, come over to us, let us have a good discussion, and your investments are assured.